Hallo, 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 hallo. So now I will talk about changing measures in multiplayer. So let's go start it. So if you play this game as multiplayer. Just a minute. Okay, let's see. Let the games begin. begin play and say begin play sometimes you not possess it so you should do it when you possess it then actually if it is local player and go for game instance and uh, to building or J or okay so go to your game instance go to its settings and create a function set character index where you're going to store that index And this one is get character index. Insert get. Okay. Now go to your game instance and implement it. It's pretty much like this. We have index and uh, even set character index and set it up. I hope I'm using this one only, right? done we are storing your index here now we need to get this index okay getting it locally and then we need to create a server function Then we need to create a custom set character actor next server integer index. Okay, are running on server and uh, set character index server. 
send it up and promote it to a variable which is called index if you want to be more precise you can call character index nice then go to this index and keep it ref not by now what happens is whenever we set it on server if since the value changes is going to execute this function on every client go here then and this value will already be updated and then it will execute this function we'll get it this one and we're going to do some switch statement okay now let's see i already have some main menu character selection Character selection UI. I already had it. Wait, I'm setting something like this actually. Same stuff. Here we just need to copy this one. Skeletal meshes. It's an array. Awesome skeletal meshes. So copy it. Taste it here. Skeleton meshes, and we are getting it. Getting okay, you can remove this. If you go to skeleton meshes, you can see if the index is one, I am going to get this one. Then I just need to set this particular value to here. Got it. That's it done. Now you might, yeah, go to mesh and set it here. That's it done. Now what we need to do? Uh, so since we need to touch it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some random integer. Okay. Because this is always going to be zero, you have to set it from main menu. So random integer 0 to 5 Let the games begin! That's it guys. Thank you and please subscribe and support me. Thank you back.